Well, good morning. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you my morning routine. Um, super easy. So as soon as I jump out of bed, I make the bed. And I do it really fast. And so I used to wash the sheets once or twice a week. And it's such a pain, I hate like taking everything off just because the pillow smelled bad. So now I just do the pillowcases twice a week and I do the sheets once a week. It saves me time and it smells way better. I like it. So I open up the blinds, I come over here, I grab a scripture verse out of my jar. Let's see what we got. Psalm 94, when anxiety is great within me, your consolation brought me joy. So I'm gonna ask the Lord to show this verse to me today, to show me joy, and that will be beautiful. Then I head over here and I start brushing my teeth. I wash the counter, both sinks. I come over here and I wash my face and um, usually I'm done with brushing the teeth by now and then I go ahead and put on this dun, 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 dun. I love that and it helps my skin feel better so I've already done that today um, and then while that's drying I come over to the toilet and I like to clean this sucker up because um, I don't like having germs all over so what I do is I love this nature bright I keep it right here so the cleaning supplies are right next to where I need them and it gives me more of a chance of using it. I just sprinkle a little bit of this right in the toilet and then I swoosh it around and I let it soak in there um, and then I use the Germoth wipes and I love these things because Shackley's Germoth actually lasts for three days. It keeps um, the, the germs away which is really cool and I have three bathrooms so I do one bathroom every day. And that whole thing right there didn't even take 10 minutes. It was really quick, um, which I love. And then um, I head over here. And if I'm going to take my shower first thing in the morning, then um, I turn the water on to heat it up. And I use this great dry brush. I have it right there. Nice while well, it's heating up. And then I did this really nice thing for myself. I organized the shower. I did this the end of November and it makes all the difference in the world because I was having problems like you know stuff would fall and then it would break I didn't have much room in this tiny little shower so you know the bottles were getting all over I hated that and I'd always break my shaver because it would fall and then my shower was not a peaceful spot experience at all now it is because I put these hooks up and everything is in the order I need it I love it so after I do the dry brush when I get in here, I do the wet brush. Why do I do that? Because I got, I had a surgery three years ago and I have a hard time getting rid of um, the medications and stuff. And so I got a lot of cellulite right after the surgery as a result of my liver not detoxifying well. So I needed to up my Shackley liver DTX and also the circulation on my legs and my arms. And so the dry brushing helps. Um, then I have my loofah and I actually um, love this thing. I put Shackley's shampoo, conditioner, and soap right in here. Barely have to fill it because it's so concentrated. Um, with our conditioner, with all of our products, we don't use animal products. So that means that, you know, with the conditioner, you need to brush in that conditioner so it really infuses and soaks in so it can nurture that hair. And so I actually have my brush right here. And then, you know, I love using this blaster. This really helps with circulation. And then this stuff, oh, I love this. This is Shackley's Basic G Spray. And after I squeegee down my shower, I spray this Basic G on all the grout lines right there. I, I do it on the drain so, you know, it gets all those germs gone. And I love to do it right on the door. And then that makes it so I don't have more mold. Um, but I did find that one thing that really helps is squeegeeing the whole shower first. And I, I like that. Um, it does a really good job to get the water out. Um, one other little tip, like that helps me stretch when I'm in the shower. One other tip is when I'm brushing my teeth, I try to like do it on one foot, raising my leg so I can get a little stretch action going on. You know, fun little things to increase it. So this whole routine of cleaning literally took five to 10 minutes. That's it. Um, and, and so, yeah, and then I have two rooms cleaned up really nice. And then my next 
move is to head over into the laundry room, which I've already done today. And this is how I love it. I love just having darks and lights. You can see I have two baskets there. Um, and I love having every day one load of laundry. And you can tell, ta-da, I already did my one load. I just have to finish it up. I'll do that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so that takes about five minutes to get the laundry in there and then switch it over and then maybe another five to fold it. We store our stuff right up on that shelf and then, you know, whoever's laundry it is, they'll run in and put it away. So heading on down. Okay, so that only took five minutes to load and then five more to fold. Um, then I come in here and I do the horizontals for the living room. And all I'm doing is a quick scan because I already have cleaned this up. Like I had to do an initial purging, decluttering. Now it's purged and decluttered. So my initial scan, I'm just looking at all the horizontals and I want to get rid of any clutter that's laying around. Now this morning, the blankets were, you know, all over from our movie last night and um, all the remotes. Yeah, we have like six or seven of those babies. I still don't know how to use them. But anyways, um, those remotes, I put them away. And so that's a horizontal easy and then i'm heading over here my horizontals in the kitchen look good um looks like i have part of my measuring cup to put away and you can see i just have um, a little bit of dish action going on in the sink it's because look dishes are clean and I, my goal is at night before i go to bed to empty this baby but i didn't get it empty last night and so we watched the movie and so that means I need to empty it and then now I have dishes to stick in there. It's only one though, it's not a big deal. But sometimes, you know, if I don't get that thing emptied, there could be a whole sink load of dishes. And then, you know, starting off the day that way is not cool. So, hey you guys, I really just want to say, um, you can totally do this. You, you have this. Um, you are gonna get into a routine doing our cleaning challenge. You're gonna figure out what it is you wanna do every day and you're gonna make that happen. And you're gonna feel amazing. So then I can actually come over here and I can log on my chart what I did. You can see that I logged all last week. So I just need to wipe all that off and start again. And we'll be good to go. So today I get to plan, I get to pick what meals we're gonna have <laughs> for the week. That'll be fun and they're all listed on there. So I just circle them, you know, I just write them down which one I'm gonna have. So you guys have a great week. So January 1, we're going to start this challenge. Later today, I'm going to fill up all my Jack We Got Clean water bottle, bottles, spray bottles and stuff. So um, I only do it twice a year because they're so concentrated. So I'm going to enjoy this day. Look at all that beautiful snow. God bless you guys.